Hello. Ah, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, welcome, everyone. Are, are you here for the tour? Correct. Oh, goody. Uh, if you want to come this way, uh, uh, we'll lead you into the main uh, reception hall. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Oh, uh, by the way, did anybody find the golden ticket yet? The golden ticket? Uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, we've been looking for the golden ticket, uh, uh, rock salt. Uh, oh, 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 I, I have rock salt for you. I was told to bring some. I'm ah. Angel, by the way. Hi. Oh, oh, hello. oh uh, Hi. uh, there was a sign at the Freeport that said, uh, happy birthday, Angel. Yeah, there yeah, was a sign that, there that said, was, said you had a uh, birthday. My friend, uh, uh, Ted, he's bringing more rock salt later, but this hopefully will be enough to help you guys get started. Oh, perfect. Uh, so oh, he's, he's the first, uh, person to find rock salt and, uh, bring it to us. Uh, so he gets to pick the first uh, uh, batch, uh, the flavor that goes in the first batch. So the last time I visited, uh, me and some friends, we made a selection. Don't know if you remember what that was. Selection? Oh, a flavor? Were you, you here? You showed us some flavors, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, not oh. here, here. It was oh, yeah. further up the coast a few months ago on a, di oh. on a different factory. Uh, we had Ray of Sunshine and we had one called Dark Depth. Right, it was definitely the Dark Depth. Uh, uh -huh. and the sun right, and the sun You remember it? That yeah. was the combo, yeah. Yes, I think so. Yeah, so if, if, you, if you want to make that, I, th I, think, I think we'd like oh. that one. All right. Well, it's on our sample board up there at the moment, but we will make sure to tell people that one's already been approved. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. Oh, it's going to be delightful. All right, this way. Oh, yes. Thank you. Th this is Lexi. Hi. Oh, hello, Lexi. Nice to meet you. Name is... Uh. My name's Brooke Shook, and this is my brother, McCook. Uh, nice to meet you, Lexi. Thank you. Yes. Thank you're nice Shook. to meet you, yeah, Shook Milk Industries, right this way. I see your signs up a lot. I've uh, been meaning to come here. Oh, wonderful. Oh, well, today's the grand it. opening. Yes, it is. Ah. I figured there's no sweeter place for a date. Oh, you're on a date? Oh, a birthday and a date all in the same week. Oh, that's wonderful. You didn't tell me it was your birthday. I, w I would have brought you... Brought you a present. Well, it was a few days ago, and hey, oh, okay. you know, the, know, the date well, itself it's a late is the date well, is present well. enough for me. I don't need anything. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, the sign didn't have a date on there. It didn't say when your birthday was. It just said uh, it Angel said, is having a birthday. And yeah, it said the Monday. The responsible thing would have been to to take it down after that day. Uh, so 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 if it's not this Monday, it's the next Monday or the next 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 Monday. Wait, what? Uh, the the sign. It said uh, your birthday was on a Monday. And it didn't say when oh, the Monday was. It so was it... last Monday. This, uh -huh. this last Monday. Uh, so, so, I, so you uh, can still is celebrate. It's still there? I should probably go take it down. Yes, it was still there still yesterday. Just, just, no, oh, it's yesterday? your birthday all the time. <laughs> yes, always. Right. Just it's leave it there. Every Monday. Every See how Monday many presents birthday. you get? Just, yeah, leave it there. It's, it's, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> All right, are you ready to start the tour? Oh, absolutely. Oh, well, welcome. All right, we'd like to try to welcome you today on a journey. A journey inside of flavor. I'm going to give you a little bit of our history of our company. Shook Milk Industries was started from humble beginnings in the belly of our mother's galleon. Our mother's family were green grocers and sought out the best of ingredients. One dark, freezing night as the galleon took refuge from an unrelenting freezing storm and fog, our milk supply froze over. Inspiration struck. We realized that with the right balance of exceptional quality ingredients, we could make something special. Something special was how our mother described that first batch whipped up quickly during the storm. 
If you like things that are special or even something, then give our iced cream a try. What could go wrong? We hope you enjoy your visit with us here today at Shook Milk Industries, where you are something special. Yes, even you. And you, and you, oh. and even me. Sometimes me. We know that you've noticed the scent that fills the air here in the entryway. It's a mixture of crisp sea breeze and the gentle scent of fruit blossoms. And provided by the four fruit trees surrounding us here, the four trees represent the four founding principles of great iced cream flavor. The lemon tree represents a crisp, clean taste. The orange tree represents a burst of flavor. The cherry tree represents a bold richness. And the plum tree represents a depth of flavor. Along with our iced cream signature creaminess, these are the hallmarks we hope to reach in achieving a great iced cream. Shook Milk is located in a great body of water in order to capture an endless chilled sea breeze. Located high above us here, as well as throughout our factory, are both Hatches and air baffles. The air baffles work to not only catch and amplify the ocean and bay breeze, but also to push the air high and low throughout our factory, creating a motion of swirling frozen air to super cool our factory, even on the inside. Uh, any questions so far? So what to take in? <laughs> I thought they're just decorations. I didn't realize. The trees events. <laughs> oh, they're actually yeah. uh, a real fruit. Uh, and so they're real, real sweet and delicious. They are. So, uh, oh, is, right. is the garden is part of the tour as well, is it? Oh, sure, sure. We're not done yet. We're going to go through the factory. We're going to do the whole thing. Are you ready? I'm hoping to oh, see my. some wings I didn't see last time. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Here we do. get samples at the end, is it? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I, I, ooh. oh there's I different like flavors to choose from. All right. By your acceptance of entrance through this gateway, you hold that Shook Milk Industries is not responsible for any and all incidents herein. All right, right this way. Uh, you didn't throw the lion in there, did you? Not yet. <clears throat> Don't want to frighten guests away already. Before we even get started. Don't worry, we'll be fine. I'm, I'm fully. Just have to hold hands tightly if you see any lions. Oh. Uh, you can That's defeat lions by looking like one large person by standing next to someone closely. Okay. Just as we searched high and low to find the freshest, best tasting ingredients, we bring you on a journey as well. <laughs> Sometimes twisting, sometimes turning. A flavor finding is a long, arduous task, but well worth the reward. Right this way, we're going on a long adventure of flavor. You'll notice on the pathway to flavor, you find the flavors that aren't so good for you. The flavors that you want to pass up and keep looking. And keep on... Um, Keep moving on. None of these flavors look like the right ones to me. No maize this time? We have a flavor. We have a winding flavor path. I had that. Chili up oh, that brings us here. Uh-oh, it looks like we... Our luck has run out on this journey. We better try another path. All right, we'll head back the way we came. Got another pathway to choose from. Ah, here we go. We found another pathway leading to a possible flavor discovery. Right this way. Oh, look here. Looks like flavor abounds. Congratulations on persevering to find the best flavors. We now welcome you to the forest of flavor. Ooh. Bringing together the finest of fruits and vegetables took quite some time, but now that they're all here in one easy place together, 
process of tasting them is easy for you. You're welcome to plow the gardens here with your mouth harvester. While wandering our forest, you will notice that we have selectively planted our plants. We keep our plants planted in crop plots and away from the wild plants. So we can better control the nutrients to the plants not to taint any of them, leading to an off taste, aroma, or both. Through our careful horticultural and select nutrition program, we have created plants that are edible from root to fruit, as we like to say. So if you feel inclined, feel free to eat a root, a sliver of bark, or leaf. They all taste wonderful here. Cold here also keeps our stock pest free. And in this location here, in the cold, and on this very small island, keeps our stock away from easily cross-pollinating with lesser tasting plants that may be out there in the open wild. Right here, you can also find some of our, some of our product that has been picked for your, for your enjoyment. Which ones are these also... big, big ones over here? Uh, the lemons? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the just lemons. Yes, yes. Way too big to be lemons, surely. Yeah, it's the nutrients yeah, in the ground. Orange. This one here is just a regular orange tree. This is not a dwarf orange tree. Look at the size of this orange tree versus that oh, lemon that tree. Just a huge. Look at them. Oh, the Look very juicy. There's another ship pulling in out there. Oh, uh. Oh, I know who those are. We we can wait until you bring them to the same point we are. All right. Hey, if you want to sample some flavors here, we'll, we'll, we'll go down and bring them right up. Definitely not stuff ourselves with the samples. Oh. <laughs> Quick, let's go. Tarrants, here are the samples. <laughs> I'll give them a long time in the garden. Oh, oh yes. We definitely need some alone time. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello. hello there. How's everyone today? I heard there was a tour. There's a tour. It's our grand opening, too. Yes, it's the grand oh. opening. We just opened just here just a moment ago. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello. This is uh, Bones and Art Art Artemis Fell. <laughs> no. It's just that. Nice That's to meet you. Bones and Art, hello. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, I'm Brondi. Brondi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Was there someone hey. else? We saw a ship come by. It's, it's uh, move. Someone's being dropped off and then the ship's coming back. Because uh, <laughs> we have a train to go in like the next hour. Minutes. So we could wait five minutes? Oh. If you guys oh. have already given someone a tower or something. Yeah, we started someone on the tour, but they haven't made it to the factory yet. We're, you know, we can we can wait just a moment. We'll go up and let them know that we'll be waiting just a moment if they want to come down. I mean, they're... you can they, you can finish the tour and we'll we'll wait for them to come back. Yeah, they'll be coming back, and then someone else will be joining us for the tour as well. Oh, all right, yeah, that's fine. Could take a moment to give the tour. I don't know. Uh, yeah, how long fine. does the tour usually take? Oh, well, they haven't given one yet. That's hard to say. Uh, usually it's a uh, 45 to an hour. Yeah, about 45 minutes to an hour. Should be. Kind of, could be. You never know. Yeah. Depends on the questions we're asked and things. And how much uh, sampling you would like to do? But if you're only going to be about Sam five Sampling, that sounds great. Oh. Sampling sounds great. Well, uh, there's samples. For you. We have flavors for you to sample and actual product for you to sample as well. Uh, I came prepared. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be tasting all of them. Uh, did you all bring? Awesome. Did you bring any golden tickets? Uh, uh, AKA rock salt. Oh, I brought. Three hundred golden tickets. Ah, uh, what in the world? No, hundred no, no. each. Oh, you don't have to pay to enter here. We're just... Oh, uh, you can hold on to the coin. No, 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 no. I insist that they're golden oh. tickets because we don't have the other ones. Mm. Oh. Um, but 
Uh, but uh, if you bring rock sure salt, uh, you get to yes. pick the flavor of uh, uh, of the second batch. The first batch is already uh, reserved for the uh, nice couple that just arrived. Well, unfortunately, that did, information did not come to us in time. Uh, no, it's fine, it's fine. Well, you're here, that's all that matters. But we don't want to take your coin, necessarily. The, there's no admittance fee or anything. It's too late, he's already picked up. Uh, oh, you've done it now? Yeah, I, this... It's too late. It's too late. Listen, you buy something nice at our shops with that, it'll be fine. Um, so where are you located? Uh, B2, uh, Middle East Island. Oh, okay. The, the rock salt's actually in B2. Oh. That's what we've heard. We haven't found it us, but we've heard it's there. Well, it's, it's definitely in... out on our island. I know where the it is. South east. It's in the, mi in the middle of the island, the river. Yeah. Oh, I've seen those rocks. Never harvested them, though. I think there's two types of salt in the river. Yeah, rock salt is the river today. Oh. River of Babylon. So, um, uh, uh, do we uh, just uh, get the other couple and, or just leave them up in the garden? Well, they're, on, they're on a date, you know, they're on a date. Don't they right. enjoy the front? I don't know. Yes, they, they probably need a chef, chaperone. I probably definitely need to go up and... Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, the, the grown adults, the grown adults don't necessarily need a chaperone. You might, you might interrupt their um, ice cream tasting. Uh, yeah, you, never, you never know. <laughs> they, were, they were in the sampling garden. They said, well, we're just going to eat some samples. So that, yeah, Body yeah. ice cream. Mm. Uh, we're getting closer. Closer all the time to the ice cream. Not too far away. We're watching for lions. If you see us looking around, it's it's, it's very lion-like here. You're welcome to come on up the steps and, and wait inside the building if you like. If you're opposed to being in the lion's mouth, this is the right direction. I mean, I see, I see bears standing around. Are they standing guard? Uh, we do have some guard bears. We have a couple of wild ones here as well. Had a very angry lion the other day. Very, very, very old and very angry about things. Just we can we can let the others know that there's a that, that we're, we're waiting. Just a moment. Oh, that's Lane. Lane's working on. Hey, Lane. Can you welcome Hello, everyone? Lane. Hey. Hello. I would like ten of each ice cream, please. We only give out the samples here. We don't actually give them back. I'll take ten samples of each ice cream. Well, uh, there's a chance that there may be ten samples available, sir, but you'll have to check with inside the factory. I don't know from way down here. Yeah, yeah. Is, is everything Hello. going okay? Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, just, the, the view's pretty amazing up here. Uh, I'll just check out the view. Uh, uh, Brooke uh, wanted me to come up and make sure uh, you didn't need a chaperone. No. <laughs> I'm just going to go in that corner for a half minute and munch on some samples one second. Okay. <laughs> well, we don't have the ice, uh, whiskey ice cream oh, here, sir, but we have coffee ice right. cream with a brandy glaze. <laughs> I don't know if that's something you're interested in. I'm not sure if you got any more to put in the sample box. Uh, did, did, do you, was there anything that you need? I'm sorting these documents. Uh, oh, no, no, I'll be no, just sorry. a moment, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Lynn, how long have you worked here? Oh, just a very short amount of time. This, this place hasn't been here too long. I, I, took, I took to this seat mm, nigh on to two days ago, probably. Not long at all. Are, are they giving you breaks? Oh, yeah. yeah, I got all the breaks in here. Um, look at me, I'm sitting on the seat. I mean, 
Ugh. Ugh. I could be standing. Have you seen some of the other mutes? They have to stand around all day. That's true. I don't have any opinions on anything either. Here I am, full of opinions. And see them. Do you not get terrible cramps sitting there all day? Well, it's fine. Yeah. I, um... When was the last time you stood up? Uh, two days ago. Do you think that's an oh, issue? No. I, I can sort of feel both feet. I could try. I could, mm. I could try to stand up if I need to. Might lose movement in your leg if you do another day. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, I can't be sure. How are you all uh, today? You, you having a good day today? Uh, Welcome. Oh, she... No, you stood up. How do your legs feel? Yeah, I feel better. Well, it's the blood, you know, it rushes from the head to the legs. It takes away some of your thinking ability. When it's all in the leg, blood leg, they call it. It's a terrible uh, malady. As long as you get exercise, that's all that matters. Yeah, sometimes mm. when you're seated for a long time, it keeps your lips from moving as well. You talk and talk, but your lips don't move at all. You ever had that happen? Um, no. No, oh, uh, it's, it's a terrible malady. <laughs> well, it was nice talking to you, Elena. Thank you for your time. Uh, oh, you're very welcome. It's nice to talk to you. Oh, I, I don't get to talk as often as, as I would like sometimes, you know. But welcome, welcome to Shook Milk. It's nice to have you. Lane woman's nice. Yeah, very talkative mute. Well, well, thank you, Lane. We appreciate you. That is a it's very a... lovely monkey. Oh, this monkey? Yeah, it's oh, white and black. Oh, is it white and brown? Oh, well, this one at three part. Oh. It's a, it a decently sturdy monkey. Oh, there you go. Scratching the sides, it likes that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just fluff the fur a little bit. Oh, there you go. Head pats, too. That's nice. He's a cute monkey. I like this monkey. Does he have a name? Yeah, what's the name? Uh, Bob. Monkey. Bob monkey the monkey. The mon <laughs> no, monkey the monkey. <laughs> Monkey the monkey. Yeah, that's got a ring to it. I'm gonna let the others know. I'm gonna disrupt the plan up there, whatever it might be. Be right back. You just give me the middle finger. <laughs> it's for refusing my uh, my healing. You're refusing my heal. Oh, you healed yourself. Okay. Well, I'm I'm not that cold. I mean, I'm only wearing cloth, but I'm not that cold. Yeah, I'm only wearing cloth. I forgot my first. This is like a last minute. Uh, I've got spare furs if you need them. Yeah. How much are you carrying? Um, probably more than you. <laughs> If I picked you up, would I be able to carry you? No, definitely not. Waiting on someone, but, you know, soon. Definitely I'll not. Be, be here. This, this man has legs. He has legs of steel. Oh? Uh, uh, why are they steel? That might be flesh. He can carry flesh. an elephant. Oh, he can carry an elephant. Uh, did you know this man has legs of steel? He can carry an elephant. An elephant? An entire elephant? Like, they are alive or, or, or not alive? Hello, Hello Angel. Angel. Have you guys, have you guys met Lexi? This is Lexi. I wasn't sure if it was you or not. <laughs> it's me. Hello. Hi. Are you, are, you the same, are you wearing the same clothes? Probably are. Me? I mean, yeah. they're, they're, they're a different set, but yes, they're the same. I mean, they, they look similar. Angel has an upcoming birthday. Angel has an upcoming birthday on Monday, if you're all unaware. Uh, uh, sorry, Monday. 
Yeah. Every Monday is my birthday. Every now. Monday, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll make sure to give you grenades. Ah, that's a good gift. He, he spent some on our ship earlier. We yeah. found this out of the pin. Um, you'll find out. Amazing. Got this outfit. <laughs> It doesn't look very warm. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you put on... That's, isn't that less clothes? Bron said it's his clothes. Does it feel cold to you at all? A little no. bit, but it's, we're inside, so it's okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, good. You can close the door if it'll help. You never know. Yeah, uh... We could carry on with a towel. Oh, yeah, well, we can if you like. Yeah. yeah, they're taking, they're taking oh, a long time. This is taking too long. I mean, are we waiting for someone? Who are we waiting they, for? They Danger should be coming, coming back, back, but I don't know if he'll be here now or later. Depends on... I mean, he can join us midway, I would think. Yeah, he'll just miss wherever we already passed. It's his own fault. Well, it's up to you, all right. All right, we'll start to uh, And I'll always it... come back for him. Yeah, we... yeah, yeah. Proof. Him and him and Sally can go back another time and go through it themselves. I'm sure you don't want you don't want cat hair on your ice cream. Oh, oh yeah, it'd probably violate some sort of protocols or something. The food yeah. productions to have cat hair in in the food. I don't know. Don't know yeah. how important the the hygienic concerns are. <laughs> Yes. Hygiene I mean, is of the we'll, utmost. We'll get rid of the mice and all that, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's true, true. But, well, you know, solves one problem, creates another, you never know. Yes, uh, we 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 have the best uh, hygienic uh, operation in, in, in this ocean, yes. Oh, it's wonderful, yes, yes, we take all the precautions uh, here. Uh, the queen uh, made the decoration uh, d d d d uh, that the penguins are now protected. Uh, so, so no, we had to give up our penguins and uh, trade them in for better uh, animals. Uh, yes, you, you let them find out what's what's on the tour. You know, you don't tell everybody everything. You keep some Spoilers. On you. Yeah, yeah. All right, we would like to try to welcome you today on a journey, a journey inside a flavor. Shook Milk Industries was started from humble beginnings in the belly of our mother's galleon. My mother's family were green grocers and sought out the best of ingredients. One dark and freezing night as the galleon took refuge from an unrelenting freezing storm and fog, our milk supply froze over. Inspiration struck, however, and we realized that with the right balance of exceptional quality ingredients, we can make something special. Something special was how mother described that first batch whipped up during the storm. If you like things that are special or even something, then give our iced cream a try. What could go wrong? We hope you enjoy your visit with us here today at Shook Milk, where you are something special. Yes, even you. Yeah, bowls are special. Yes. Yes, you are special. You are special, and you are, and even I'm special. Well, and me, all I'm special. I have certain days I'm special, but you know it's it's all kind here. All right. Well, we know that you've noticed the scent that fills the air here in our entryway. That's a mixture of a crisp sea breeze and the gentle scent of fruit blossoms and fruit, provided by the four fruit trees surrounding us here. These four trees represent the four founding principles of great ice cream. The lemon tree, over there by McCook, represents a crisp, clean taste. The orange tree, right here by me, represents a crisp burst of flavor. The cherry tree, over there, Represents bold richness, and the plum tree here behind Angel represents a depth of flavor. Along with these hallmarks of flavor and our iced cream signature creaminess, these are the hallmarks we hope to reach in achieving great iced cream flavor for you here today. Shook Milk is located in a great body of water in order to capture an endless chilled sea breeze. Located high above us here in our entryway, as well as throughout our factory, we have hatches and air baffles. 
The air baffles and hatches work to not only catch and amplify the ocean and bay breezes, but also to push that air high and low throughout the factory and right here in our visitors' area as well, creating a swirling motion of frozen air to supercool everything, even on the inside. All right, if you're ready to continue by your acceptance of your passageway through the gateway here in front of you, you hold that Shook Milk Industries is not responsible for any and all incidents occurring herein. Right this way. Brings us here to our pathway, just as we searched high and low to find the freshest, best tasting ingredients for you. We bring you now on a journey as well, sometimes twisting, sometimes turning. Flavor finding is long, arduous task, but it's well worth the reward. Looks like all we're finding so far are the bad flavors. We just have to continue on our arduous journey. We'll get there eventually. Uh-oh. It looks like our luck has ran out on this journey. We better try a different path. Oh, uh, yes, right this way. Oh, look at this, another route. Let's try this route in our search for flavor. Oh my god, there's a huge cactus. Oh, uh, yeah. C cacti. Oh, look here. Looks like flavor bounds. Congratulations on persevering in your hunt for the very best of flavors. We now welcome you here to our forest of flavor. Bringing together the finest of fruits and vegetables took us quite some time, but now that they're all here in one easy place together, the process of tasting them is easy for you. You are welcome to plow the garden with your mouth harvester. While wandering our forest, you'll notice we have selectively planted our plants. We keep our plants planted in crop plots or away from wild plants. To better control the nutrients to the plants is not to taint any of them, leading to an off taste, aroma, or both. Through our careful holder cultural and select nutrition program, we have created plants that are edible all the way from the root to the fruit, as we like to say. So if you feel inclined, feel free to eat a root, a sliver of bark, or one of the leaves. They're all wonderful here. Cold here also keeps our stock completely pest-free. And our location here, in the cold and on this very small island, also keeps our stock from cross-pollinating with the lesser-tasting plants that are out there. Keeping these refined, best of the best flavors available for you. The purest of pure. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, right over here, above us here. Can you see the large coffee tree up there above us? It's Baron Maxwell's famous coffee. We keep it high above us as his coffee is above all the others in flavor and in taste. As his slogan goes, delicious to the last drip. And to the last drop. No, no, the last drip. No. I mean, it's, it's dropped a fair few people. <laughs> oh. I said it was the monkey. You're welcome to sample the flavors here. If you saw anything mm. in the garden, we do mm. our harvesting. You can take something with you if you like. You never know. We'll know what people are interested in. We'll make our way as soon as you're done. Also, here we have some water. For it may need a little wash down, you never know. Tour continues above you here.
What is that? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, wow. All right, y'all, here in the enclosure behind me, here's a rare plant. It is for display purposes and uses warning to those of you who are venturing out into the wild world. In our travels, we run across all manner of plant, but we bring you today a lesson in looking too deeply for the best flavors, as you may run across an as-yet-unseen cultivar. This plant before you here is a rare man-eating plant. Located in a remote forested location, we were warned by the locals of this plant, but we were able to also procure a seed so that we could raise one of our own. I know what you're thinking. That looks like a plant on my island. Well, want, we believe that those... I want to touch those... it. No, no, I'm not through. We believe that the plants that you see on your island... You see that pistol there, located in the center, rising up out of the middle of the plant? That has the ability to strike like a serpent and drag its victim into the folds of those upright petals in the middle. There it secretes a digestive enzyme, which is capable of digesting human bone. And from there, the digested bits are drained and stored in the large bulbous area down at the bottom of the plant. Fear not, though. This plant is in dormant phase at the moment. But when active, it will produce the scent of decaying flesh from the red petals around the outside. You see the petals that rim the outside there? We believe that that scent works as a lure to bring humans in to try to attempt to remove the offensive smell. We have securely locked it away here so that if it were to slide into an active phase, we would know, and it wouldn't be able to do it without our knowledge. Yeah, you don't want in there. You don't want to be around that plant. There's some other plants in there, around, sort of around the back side of it, just for decor purposes, but the, the one in the center there is the one that you need to cast your eyes upon and be wary of out there in the wild. Have you ever seen I mean, anything like that? So How many people died trying to get that plant? I have no idea. We, we procured a seed. This one was grown from seed and has never consumed a human body. It has it has been fed other things like like a like a dead shark that we found. You know those those types shark? of things. Yes, it yes, is a shark. Yeah, d devoured the whole shark. Just slithered it down in there. You'd be surprised how quickly that digestive enzyme works. So, Sharks are bigger than humans, definitely. <laughs> you said you have a system that'll warn you. What do you do then? Like, let, let's say you get the warning. What's sure, the sure next the... step? Oh, you get the scent. The smell starts coming. Well, you know it's it's ready to feed at that point. You know it's trying to it's trying to pass the lure out. It's trying to draw in the victim. So you know it's ready to eat at that point. So you, you try your best to find it. Well, you know here on this line, here on this island, we have a lot of lions available. So like to like to feed it fresh lion meat. It's 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 a lion devourer. We we thought about um releasing it, you know, possibly, but it's for the human, you know, it's it's dangerous. So we have to keep um, it at bay. Our f ship is back. If you want to let oh. them in. Oh, all right. Yes, <laughs> yes, we'll let them in. I don't I don't know if they're closed out. Okay, we'll be right back. Right. Don't get should in there be... with that plant. You stay out of there. I know you should be to danger. It. His name Definitely is won't be getting in there. It Get ate that thing. It ate a whole. Sh Hello? Any, is there a danger there? Is there a danger on board? Hello? 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 
Hey, sorry, mate. G'day. How are you? Uh, uh, I'm just got a bit of bit of brain food in my head at the moment, mate. So if you give me about, give me about five. Okay. I'll be right with you. Okay. Yeah, sorry, uh, we'll, we'll we'll leave the doors open so you just walk right. up the steps and curve around. Lovely, mate. I appreciate it very much. I'll see you very soon. I don't think it's good. Not good. I I tell you this way. Uh, uh, he he's eating brain food. Eating the, eating the feed brains is what you're talking about. Yes, eating he's feed brains. Oh God. Oh. No. Keep keep that heal. I don't want. Oh, it's not creepy at all. Just. Uh... It's dancing. I don't it's understand moving. how it eating. He's. Oh, yeah, it's just me. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I, I, I did speak to Danger, and uh, uh, he decided that uh, uh, if, yeah, eating brains was better than uh, eating ice cream. He's involved in something oh, called feed brains true. at the moment. Yeah, that sounds oh, like the... Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he can sit there and the... freeze to that if he wants. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> right this way. Any questions regarding the man-eating plant? Any? Can, can we see a feeding, maybe? See a feeding? Uh, not, not right now. It's, it's, you know, it's in a dormant phase. If it, if it wakes up, I'll let you know. Will it? Well, will it wake up if we touch it? Mm, no, probably not. What if we, what we if we punch it? it? What if you're already in there by the time we know it? it, it like I said, it devours a shark pretty quickly. It's I'll drag you in. We'll just hear the gurgling. Yeah, pretty terrible first date, oh, I won't lie. <laughs> sounds like... Please don't get eaten. A, a oh. date to remember, a date for the ages. Oh. But the tour continues this way. We ask that you step to my right, your left here, over to our changing area and change into clean gloves and shoes as you'll be entering an active production facility on your wonderful tour here today. Once you've changed your lovely but filthy shoes and gloves, meet me right back here at the gate. Uh, where we will filthy. start our tour. Yes, uh, yes, yeah, yes. These, these, I wore the best clothes uh, I had yeah. today. No, no, just the, the, just the, just the shoes. Uh, you can't control where the shoes go. I know this. You know this. I know this. Can't control that part of it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Ow. Oh God, that, that's go. okay. I do that all just, I was trying to put my gloves on. I'm sorry. You're she, she just she just slapped I, my ass. I do that all I, I do that all the time. I punch him all the time. I do apologize. The gloves are maybe real real uh, thin. I, I didn't have uh, female models to try them on, so I had to size them just a little smaller than a man's hand. Well, right. I've got my hands though. So. <laughs> Everything looks fine. I think that, you know, there's different sizes in there. You just rifle through till you find the size that works for you. But all it's right. kind of like one size fits all. Sort of. Ooh. All right, welcome to Shook Milk Industries. <laughs> Tour starts here in our flavor sorting area. Often. Oh, a turtle. How much for it? <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that's a very specially trained, that's a specialist turtle right there. Specially Listen. trained to, to sort fruits and vegetables for us here. We, we can talk about it later, but I'm in desperate need of a turtle. What? That turtle's too big and it's not green enough. It's, it's green enough. We'll pass. Oh, they're oh. wonderful in the water. Randy, uh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, it is. It's very fast in water. It really s scoots through the water pretty quick. From Flavor Forest, straight here to the factory floor, we bring you now to our flavor sorting station. You may be questioning the effectiveness of turtles in the sorting of fruits and vegetables, but let us allay your fears. Years of picky eating have adapted the turtle to be as excited about fresh flavors as we are here at Shook Milk. 
delicious top tier ingredients are delivered straight to this trough here in front of us. A turtle's pointed beak allows for better picking and sorting than the clumsy human finger. The turtle's nose holes are also located directly above the beak. Years of evolution, on land and underwater, have adapted the turtle's nose to be a connoisseur of scent. Picking out the worst comes naturally to them. The turtle beak is also a self-cleaning device, not nearly as foul as a human hand. So no need for hygienic concerns. Also, the naturally organic hard material of the beak imparts no unpleasant flavor to the fruit or veg. It also helps that the turtle is partial to the softer fruits, and therefore is not prone to eating all of the merchandise. In the sorting process, poor ingredients are disposed of outright. <laughs> and better ingredients are used as compost so that they can try to do better next time. And of course, the very best ingredients make the cut and become the ingredients in your upcoming favorite flavor. The best flavors are sent directly here to the processing bench for further refinement. As not to diminish in quality, turtles will use a hammer on the more stubborn ingredients to help them along on their journey to flavorization. Ingredients that still need a little more persuasion in order to get there will continue onward here to our modified guillotine. We find it all combined. This process produces the greatest punch of flavor that is passed onward through the refining process. Oh, yes. That, that's not blood on that guillotine. That's, that's cherries. Mm, We've been uh, processing cherries. a lot of cherries. Uh, and plums you, today, too. Do you bring in, like, uh, live ingredients? Live cherries, yes, yes, not not the dead cherry. Who would want the dead cherry? No, no. Right, of course. Yes, yes, obviously. Who would want, <laughs> yeah, who would want the dead ingredients? They have to be, you know, alive yes, and yes. and kicking and full of flavor. And screaming. Filled to, filled to bursting with flavor. Never really heard a fruit scream before. If you listen close enough, you might be able to. Maybe they weren't fresh enough. I think that's enough. what the smell is, isn't it? it? It gives off the smell when it when it's been cut. It's like like freshly cut grass. Oh yeah, freshly cut grass. Yeah, that could that could be a nice flavor addition. We'll we'll add that to our list of possible flavors: freshly cut grass with a salmon breeze. <laughs> no, is is there edible grass? Probably. I mean, grass is edible, just not for humans. All right, well, we'll bring us on to juice separation here. Above us here today is the juice extraction area. In our search to bring only the finest to you here at Shook Milk, we've brought in an illustrious member of the Stompkins family of world-renowned fruit stompers, Tim Stompkins. That's right. We have spared no expense hey. in providing the greatest... Hello, Tim! Can you wave to everyone down here, Tim? No? All right. Well, that's fine. Hey, he's busy. Busy at the moment. That's right, we have spared no expense in bringing you the greatest quality of never takes finding the best in the world to help us help you have only the best. One of a group of our factory-trained flavorization technicians here at Shook Milk, there's a bit of Mr. Stompkins in every taste of our delicious iced cream. The juices flow from Mr. Stompkins' exuberant production into the vessel below, where they are collected to be transferred to bottle to await an aging process to both ripen and smoothen the juice in order to create a potent additive for the optimal flavor enhancement. Having our factory located here in the cooler climate also helps to prevent the feet of Mr. Stompkins from getting too hot, and therefore, well, just suffice it to say, you'll be as thankful as we are for our cold location. All the juices that flow herein will be passed further down the production line, and we'll circle back to them soon. Mm, definitely no toe jam here. Uh, oh, it looks no. like a fresh batch in the tub here. Oh. Freshly drained. Mr. Stumpkins, we get, thank we get you a very sample much. Of... Sure, sure. There you go, you can 
Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? It's it's juicy, all right. I know the freshest of flavor. Yes, you you hit the nail on the head when you uh, said it was delicious. That's right. Definitely has a certain taste to it. That's right. Yes, yes. When you said unique flavor, yes. Anyone else want to taste it? Gum, you've become so sure. eloquent all of a sudden, Brandy. Oh. What do you mean? Saying all of these. Like po poetic and things. Yeah, it's like a, it's like you're saying five coin words over there. That's nice. This, this is just the way I talk. Oh well, that's that's good. Well, we like the way you talk here. All right, any other? Now. Oh, no need to be self-conscious here. Uh, look up no. there. Look at Tim Stompkins. He's he's one of the best in the world. Mm. No need to feel inferior to him. I mean, everyone has a place here. I have a question. Yeah, sure. Your, is your other factory still operational? Or did you uh, oh. move the, oh, the whole factory? Oh, you're talking about that other factory. No, do you know we had issues with that factory? Everything was working fine and in top condition, and then all of a sudden... Uh, it's, surely, sure, surely not hygienic issues. We, no. we dealt with those oh. very early on. No, no, yes. we made sure that was cleared from the very get-go, mm -hmm. as, right. as certainly as we have here, you know? Yeah, you, 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 uh, the turtles are very clean and neat. Sure, sure. No, no, there's nothing unhygienic happening here. I'm surprised you guys aren't using yetis as your workers. Have no, you well, noticed the... how clean and lacking in fur their hands are? <clears throat> oh, sure. strong well, and uh... very, very dexterous hands so we're, well. we're getting to the end yeah, we'll, we'll get that we'll get to the end oh you already have yeah. do they Isn't spontaneously it? burst into song uh possibly oh okay Ooh. sorry I'll, I'll shut up yeah we're getting there we're getting out it's not spoiler <laughs> spoiler I, I didn't think they, were, they had done it I didn't spoiler know. okay oh, uh, wow angel thanks for spoiling oh, shut the wow. fuck up randy Wow, Angel. Listen, I'm not the one that spoiled it. <laughs> anything is spoiling us... anything. It's Mr. Stompkins over there. Uh, Mr. Stompkins, you behave yourself over there. <laughs> oh, I, I think he, he's checking the gift shop. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, uh, the, right. the, the gift shop uh, is stocked with uh, flavors you can take home with you. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of time for the gift shop. Yes, plow through. Uh, came up with a new uh, product called Rock Salt. Uh, uh, it's made from real rocks, so um, definitely won't. Flavor looks lovely. Definitely won't hurt your teeth. Yeah, they're, they're slightly softened rocks. It's a, it's a special process. And the you and you the gummy eat. worms, uh, yep, uh, yep. or the uh, gummy swords, are made with uh, corn. Uh, with with gold nuggets. Oh, I, I thought you were you were gonna say they're made with real swords. Don't spare me with this sword. <laughs> gummy sword fight. There we are. <laughs> I got my gummy <laughs> sword out. If the gummy swords gummy aren't sword. made from from real swords, then what's even the point? <laughs> Hello there, sir. Welcome. How you doing? Sorry, I'm just for safety animal. reasons. I'm not going to oh, fight him with my gummy sword. Uh, the, the, this one likes uh, brains uh, over ice cream. Was that feed yeah. brains you were feasting mm. on? Is that what you're saying? Uh, it was, it was. Oh, oh wonderful. Man's got eight, you know what I mean? Man's got eight. Yeah. Yes, yes. Better have been good. You missed half the tour. It's too late now, though. That's all right. I'm next one. It's all right. Angel will spoil it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, Angel. Nice. Well, you've you've not missed the flavored part of the tour. We're sure that's oh, part wonderful. of it that you would like the best here. Absolutely. All right. Yes, welcome here. Some of our upcoming flavors could be here before you on these very walls. This is our interactive taste and tell gallery. You're welcome to sample the flavors here to your contentment. Who knows? Your next favorite flavor could be just a lick away. We ask that you taste but you also let us know if we're on the right track with any of these experimental flavors be sure to also check back with us soon 
as these flavors will change as some will make it into production and some new experimental flavors will make their way here for sampling. This is where we rely on you to help shape the future here at Shook Milk. Feel free to taste your way through the gallery. We'll be making our way from here to our vault eventually. Hey. Uh, Andrew, do you want to try a blowhole? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm down, I'm down with that. I like lavender. It, you're supposed to taste, not eat. Or taste. Oh yeah, the good, the good. Oh, you can't help yourself. Yeah, that, that plum yeah. one's... Whew, Let, let's Ooh. try. Fantastic. Try the combination oh, wow. of Ray of Sunshine and Darkest Depths. Try, try, try licking those in quick succession. God damn it, dude. That's not Stella. Calm down. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus the, this one, or the oh, Ray of Sunshine. And Ray. This I'm not one. sure about the chili on oh, this one. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, no chili. chili. Oh, yeah. I, I can taste the chili. Yes, the three C's. Oh, he's going to click that one. Uh, we got an instant over here. <laughs> All right. I'm, um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to lick this wall for a while. Uh, this, uh, one, this man's passed out. Yeah, somebody's try, passed out. Try this man's waterfall, the and then this one immediately after. My God, look at you! Oh, <laughs> that you overcome with the oh, deliciousness of that flavor. Oh, sweet and salty. Mm. 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 All right, I th I think it's a I good see. combination. Ray of sunshine in the darkest depths. I mean, this one's got alcohol in it, so I just... uh, yeah. Well, I mean. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if there's any left after danger, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Jeez. Is, oh, yeah. is, 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 it, is it that time? Have you not had any in a while? What's, no, what's man, she's been, she's been a bit rough, but that's all right. Uh, I mean, it's like the, that, like the that's seas. That's not always bad. Rough. Like the seas, yeah. I've been putting the dog out these last couple of nights, but it's all right. I'm struggling my rough. way out of there. Oh, the, the uh, metaphor is uh, rough. Oof. I hope you guys got some flowers around here. He's going to return with some flowers. Give we have a, a lovely, um... Bring her back some gummy swords here. Huge one. Yeah, gummy, gummy swords. swords. Oh, yes. That's a... Oh, beautiful. Just don't Definitely. eat them yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Make you a little box. Oh, put apples those in. Well. Wrap, put nice, put a nice bow on the top. Say, look, I've, I've made you a nice little present here. I think she would uh, really appreciate that. Yeah. The flavor might be a little sharp. I think I'm, I'm, think I'm missing the bait with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, pink, with the pink socks. Oh, look oh. at you! You're, you're oh, wearing he's your... contaminating the whole oh. room. Oh. You're wearing your standard in oh, no. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. sorry. Get, get, right, get, contaminating the whole place. I'll go get you a special pair of shoes. I just, I, whole, I, I just need one. The whole plant's gonna have to shut down for like a day uh -oh. because of Wait, everyone quick sweep, sweep, it. sweep, <laughs> sweep, <laughs> sweep wherever he walked. <laughs> Yes, it's bad. We're getting clean. Oh, oh God. <laughs> the snow. Let the snow in. Let it blow through. It'll melt a little. We'll use it. Don't just, don't just spread the... the yeah, just... The let the snow oh, no. everywhere. Oh, no, no. They're, spe they're special brooms. Yeah. It came from this way. Hurry. Get it all. I think we're good. I think we're good. We need, we need more people helping. There you go, there you go. Oh, I, I, I lost no, my no, broom. Oh you, oh, you left your broom at home, how dare you. My God, don't ever leave home without your broom. Sir, are you trying to get back in here? Did you get your shoot? All right, there you go. This way, right, but, this way. I can bring you around. But he's outside with the indoor shoes. You can't wear those now my, inside. My. Oh, yeah, you look fine. You're fine, you're fine. He's stepping outside. Just... Just hold I'll, your peg leg. I'll, I'll use my med kit and I'll I'll, I'll disinfect the, the disinfect them real quick. That's it's not how dirt works. You didn't oh, have I'm to use, put I'm, that I'm shoe. using the wipes. Oh, wow. <laughs> disinfect, disinfect there the wipes. There you go. Get under the yeah. shoe. You did yeah. under the shoe there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, everything. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, looks good. That's you didn't have to put, Wait a minute. You didn't have to put a shoe on your peg. That'd be fine. You're fine with just the open peg. That'd be all right with us, yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, that's an amazing med kit. It's healed his leg. <laughs> that's just a realistic peg leg. 
Try wearing one of those shoes on your head. Maybe it'll bring your eye back. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, you look fine. Huh? You got you got the nice sanitary shoe on. I see it there. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brownie just scrubbed it clean for me. Sure, sure. Yeah, you're fine. Come on okay. in. Welcome. <laughs> All right, that was our uh, yeah, that was an interactive it. taste and tell. You have to tell us which flavor did you like out of these flavors. You forgot to tell us. Definitely. Oh, love the blowhole. Blowhole, all right. Let's get that gets a boat. Put that, put a check mark Open beside blowhole, my cook. Blowhole. I, 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 I like Ray Sunshine. That was, that was nice. Ray Sunshine, sunshine yes. Yeah, Stranded Adventurer. I'm, I'm stranded sunshine. Adventure, feeling very optimistic for my oh. evening. <laughs> yeah, you, right. you, you, you guys know the combination I liked. I've told oh, you. Oh, yes, yes. Yep, we got it. We got the ray of sunshine and the darkest alcohol. depth. Alcohol. One with the alcohol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, the, the, the salt one? This one has the so grog in salted? it. Is that? Uh, is it it's, sweet and sour? It's, yeah, that, that, that sweet one. and sour. It's got cinnamon, turmeric, grog. Oh, yes. And then yeah, with sweet some and salty. seed water, algae. I didn't try the plum one. You, you get the oh, yeah, that was a good one. and the saltiness. Ooh. Hey, are we continuing? Yes, yes, all right, right this way. Thank you for your votes today here, folks. All right, that brings us here to our vaults here at Shook Milk Industries. While most people store their valuables in the vaults, such as this, to make it harder to get in, we're in the business of collecting strange flavors. You never know what you're going to acquire that you don't want to get out. This container in the past has housed spontaneously popping corn from a far-flung island, creeping beef that could move on its own, a bag of potatoes that belonged to a snake lady, vaporously hot chili oil from a haunted desert location, stinching onion from behind a grandmother's log cabin, and a suspicious-looking cucumber, a giant spider's eggs, collected from a giraffe's ears in a horrendous swamp, and mermaid milk from the city on the trenches, said to cause you to burst into uncontrollable spontaneous song. Currently housed in this vault, however, is a cask of honey found in a wrecked out ship containing boxes and boxes of human hair. We're in the business of not only keeping your taste buds happy, but also keeping you safe. As safe as a vault, you might say here. Any questions regarding our vaults here? Oh, I th think we're good. All right, all right. You'll notice around the edges of our vaults here, we have our inspirational plaques to motivate both the visitor and the worker here at Shook Milk. These inspirational plaques are hung around the vaults to help ensure those who work in our factory and the visitors as well to remind you that quality counts when we've set out to make the best ice cream flavor on the seas. You may take a moment to read some of these inspirational plaques and take some with you to inspire you as well. Freeze here or die outside. That is very inspirational. Well, yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, uh, well, it, it just it fits right in with the ice cream, you know. The Yetis will be here soon. Now that's a place yes, like yeah, that. Yeah. We'll get to that. Uh, that's on the tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my favorites is on the on the lowest on the lowest on the right. Here it says, "Even on the darkest day, there is flavor." <gasps> Watch that later. But over here it says, "Flavor without love is just empty." Taste yeah, just empty. Taste. produce flavor. Oh, absolutely. This, oh, that, no, is that that's chocolate. A, that's part of Born the meditation here. Bones, Bones, test that. Is that chocolate? Nope, that's uh, nothing happened there. What's <laughs> no, no, nope, nothing happened. <laughs> Ain't that right, Angel? I, I hear some screaming somewhere. Oh, yeah. Screaming? That's, that's just the turtle chewing. I, think. I haven't seen one of these before. Is it... what is... Annotation is uh, thought priority here. I like to call that a noodle nose. I'm not <laughs> sure if it's real name. Frosted. An abomination of nature. What? Eyes. <laughs> its eyes are terrifying. No, no, the, those eyes are candy flavored. It uses its own tongue to taste its own eyes. There it goes right now. 
That is the most terrifying. That's even more ter terrifying than his red eyes. Yeah, I don't know. You know, that not everyone needs a pupil, I guess. It's, you know, sometimes. It looks kind of sleepy. <laughs> All right, any questions here? Not Did you me. paint the nails of this thing? Or... Yeah, I was just saying it's, it's paint. Well, yes, yes, I mean, we, we painted it with a, with a candy crackle coating. You see it's a little crackled around the edges there. Dear God, we're under attack. Some of the fiery mortars. Was that ship on the left? Is that yours? Oof. I don't know. James Brookshook. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, I'm Neil. Oh, uh, Neil. Uh... Yeah, we've heard of Neil. Oh, hey, hey, hello. Neil. Uh, how are hello. you guys? Ah, you're back. Welcome. Hey. Yes, you're, you're the man told us about Neil. You told us he was the most wonderful man on the Seven Seas. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, thank you. All this praise. I could um, not get him to take a bath before we came, though, but uh, well, it is what it is. That's all right. Welcome, welcome. Today is opening day here. We heard. Yeah, we're glad to have That's fantastic. you. Fantastic. Well, we're in the middle of a tour at the moment. I don't know if you want to start at the beginning or if you want to join the tour already in progress. We've got options here. You could probably join Ryan. Oh, yeah, right. you're, you're welcome to. Oh, right up this yeah. way. You can Just, always come uh, back anytime. Part. Start the tour from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so you met these guys. So yeah, you probably know we're neighbors then. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much for allowing us a spot here on your island. Oh, yes. It's been a wonderful place out here, other than the constant never-ending lions, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, working on a flavor it. for him. It. called Ain't yeah. Lion. <laughs> it's the flavor. <laughs> we ain't lion. Yes, yes. All right, right this way. We're doing the tour already. I'm probably, there's some other people up here. Don't know if you may have met them before. You never know. Yeah, I've just been looking at your castle every time. Why I've, is there uh... monkey here? Oh, yeah. Monkeys are just stinky. Flavor. Oh, he just, that's his monkey. The that, that's the white one. Oh, he's probably picking all the berries. Like... And he's putting it in the yeah. gillet. Macaw, give them the shoes and gloves. We don't have to sweep oh, the floors oh, 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 oh. Uh, Please follow me. Step uh, right this way uh, to our changing area. We have fresh shoes and gloves for everyone so we don't taint the factory here. Oh, thank you very much, ma'am. Yes, we'll dust the area behind you. Yes, uh, 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 please put on uh, uh, hey, shoes and gloves. Any wash their stinky feet? Stinky feet? Oh, one of your feet All smells. Right. That's that's just Neil. Nope. Hey. hey, Neil. Hey. Hey. hey Mike. It's a danger. How you doing, Mike? Oh, you know. Uh, ice cream. <laughs> nice. Mm. We're in the same place. Uh, danger doesn't like ice cream. He likes brains over ice cream. Oh. <sighs> look, look. I'm sorry. Oh, that was you. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hi. It's good. Hi. Hi. In what? What up, not Cedric? <laughs> Stop, not Angle. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ow. Ow. Violence. Violence in the ice cream oh, factory. Fine. That's all that blood um, that just. Yeah, the sorry, sorry for oh, the blood. Uh, no, we we, we need to sweep the floor again. Sweep it. Look at look, look at the volunteers. <laughs> it's yeah. nice. It's nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, labor. Okay, so you so, guys should start hiring part time. Yeah, yeah. Got to teach my cook how to push the broom. 
Mm -hmm. I wouldn't learn that if I were you. Yeah, See, it seems within, like a bad deal. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you never know. Uh, I always get the wrong end of the stick, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the wrong end of the broom. <laughs> there, there's no wrong end on the stick. It's all a matter of perspective. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. All right. Well. I'm going to welcome you to the most excellent part of our factory tour here today. We now enter egg production. If you want to build a better custard and to make iced cream, then you need to start with a better egg. Or should we say eggs? The ultimate flavor of eggs is greatly enhanced by what is eaten by your egg producers. In a secret process, we have taste sampled which particular feed helps the egg layers provide the most excellent eggs. We have also perfected the combination of eggs that will add to a deeply complex flavor to our eventual custard. Using the animals you see on each side of me here, as well as importing some same-day eggs from some couple of exotic sources, the eggs hit just the right layer of flavor. Not to worry, any suspect eggs are shipped off for serpent testing. No, no, serpent testing is not testing to see if the eggs are serpent eggs, but it's testing to see if the eggs appeal to the palate of the serpent who is the number one known source for egg quality. No serpents are kept here on site, however. All testing is done by professional serpents far away from this location. This occasional testing ensures that the eggs remain of superior quality. Those eggs that pass the test are passed along the production cycle, to where we will catch up to those again later. Any questions on our egg layers here today? So, same-day eggs are oh, tested yes. the same day and then used on production if they pass on the same day by professional yeah. eggs very far away. Oh, absolutely. Well, we, we also we, happen to be snakes. We spare no expense shipping. here. Sounds legit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do, well, do you use uh, spider eggs in any recipe? That, oh, yes. We do yeah. have spider eggs as a topping on one of our iced creams. We'll get to that. Did you like it? You like the spider egg? Is that one of your favorite delicacies? Oh, we just saw a spider egg today. Figured it must Did be good. Did oh, nice, it? yeah. I did need it now. But, uh... Got time in time. That shit's webby. Yeah, we have one kind of ice Probably cream hairy. has has a couple of eggs involved. We'll get to that when we get to our flavorization sample area. Sounds lovely. Like any other questions here? We have the we have both the chicken egg and the sharp tooth egg. The what? Egg and egg. Which came first? Oh, oh, I was yeah. that. oh that thing. I was yeah, this, what that was. Oh yeah. Well, we, you know, uh, people think that it's in the box because it's being punished. No, no, no. This creature here loves the heat, and so that's a heated box to keep it nice and warm on the inside. If we were to let it out of that box, it might freeze here in our polar location. It's currently involved in the eating of the feed there. I was about to say, that was a very large chicken. It'll be free someday, don't worry. It yeah, won't no, take no. It forever. I, I, it's, not, it's not being punished, there's no... It loves it in there. You, you, you can't get it out of that box. And we, we open up the side here with cherries sometimes. It won't even come out of there. Just like, just wants to stay in there and eat the feeds. I mean, it's getting free, easy food. Why would you? It looks about as focused as you do when eating, Ivor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> exactly. All right, if there's no what more questions, we'll, what, what, we'll, uh, uh, we'll get there, we'll get there, we're not over there yet, we're over here, hello. Spoilers, Brandy, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. spoil anything. All right, well, we'll, we'll make our way up to milk production if you want to move forward, right this way. Uh, please be <laughs> careful going up the stairs. There's no handrails, but safety first, safety first. There has been safety, zero incidents since the uh, last health incident. Health and safety nightmare. <laughs> been no, no incidents since last incident. Welcome, right this way. <laughs> Alright, is that everyone? Okay. Uh, my, my, my shins are cold. Uh, yeah, a little bit. 
Golden Shin, the man with the golden shins. Wonder of the seven seas. It's better than being the one with the peg leg. Uh, wow. Hey, wait a minute. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> and it would been, be as cold. Peg's been professionally <laughs> cleaned over there. Everything's perfectly fine. The most vital component of any mm. great iced cream is great cream. You may not have realized that the greatest milk is produced, produced by elevated cows, but that's why we are experts on milk production here at Shook Milk. In testing the cow's milk for consistency and flavor, it was found that elevated cows produce the finest quality of milk. The sloped udder allows the cream to settle just a bit prior to extraction, therefore increasing the cream to non-cream ratio in the milk itself. This gives us a step ahead in getting the creamiest milk and therefore iced cream on all the seas. We also feed our cows a specialized combination of fruits, vegetables, and salt to produce the tastiest milk. Our cows are also elevated as a help in milking them, as they are milked by yetis. Yes, yetis. That is another secret to the best milk. We hired an outside research firm to test a variety of scenarios for milk production. They found that human fingers are found by cows to be sharp on their udders and cause them not to be able to fully relax. I know what you're thinking. Where are the yetis? Well, we don't keep the yetis here, just in case there were to be any type of incident. The yetis come when the factory closes for the evening. When we arrive in the morning, the milk has already been passed into the cistern here below me for chilling. You may ask, how do the yeti and cow get along? Well, I'll let you in on a production secret. In our research, we read a lot of books on both yeti and cow. This research led us to the breakthrough realization. Can't let a yeti help raise the cow. It could be unsavory outcomes. But instead, if you let the cow help raise the yeti, that is what forms the bond that lasts from then on. Our milk never reaches room temperature between the udder and the custard production. That ensures that the milk stays cold. So it is poured into this cistern here where it flows downward into the area below. If you'll follow me there now. Oh, my. Um, oh, I'm not gonna jump. Here. I'm taking the stairs. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. I see why fine. the stairs have no railing. It's uh, yes. probably no point if you're just gonna jump the whole distance. You okay, Brandy? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, like, like I said, there has been no I'll instance interface. since the last incident. No, not a one. <laughs> Everything's fine here. Yeah. Any questions on the milk so far? All right. It's here that the milk enters this chilling phase in this cistern just above my head. Placed above the ice boxes, this cistern is kept very, very ice cold. The milk can be stored here until it is ready for the production room. See here, we have a little spout where we can, we can extract all the milk we need. It goes into the barrel here, and then the barrels are stored on the cart back there behind you, where they're rolled in here to the custard production room, if you'll follow me this way. What does Any the question? sheep have to do with it? I, I, I'm not oh, sure I'm well, you know, you know what they say. If a sheep's watching, things are better. I don't know why. It's just one of those weird things that's out on the seas. Yeah. Who says that? Oh. <laughs> well, I've heard that before, yeah. <laughs> maybe we should get danger a sheep. Yeah, maybe he'll stop losing crows. <laughs> I, I should have some Oh, uh, oh, right. Uh, well, welcome in. As you, what, what's that? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, right. As you've realized by now, the custard is the most important part of our process here at Shook Milk. If you make a poor quality custard, then there's no hope for the final product. We have visited the milk and the egg production areas, and this is where all that hard work pays off. When the best of the best are combined into our magical base custard and heated just enough, the magic really begins. The pot above us here was our mother's wash cooking pot and was with us on that dreary frozen evening so long ago when we whipped up that very first batch of custard in hopes that it would lighten our evening. We never dreamed that we would continue production until we'd reached our very own ice cream facility. It is here with mother's wash cooking pot here above us that we 
Thank you for the tour group for helping us to continue to refine and craft the flavors here that generations will share with their families. Any questions on the custard production process? Can we can we taste the custard? Uh, sure. I, I, I do have some uh, 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 custard that's just ready out of mom's cooking pot or a uh, wash pot. No, cooking pot. What in the world? Wash pot. <laughs> Who in the world? Slightly soapy custard. What? Well, I, mean, I, nice. taste, I taste. I taste the berry juice, time. so someone else can taste this. Oh, there you go. A free sample. This is the base custard, just so you know what you're getting into. This is what will go on to become the fabulous ice cream here in just a moment. Oh. Mm. Mm. Soapy. I can oh, yeah. see little bubbles. <laughs> I like it. Uh, anyone else want an extra see. flavor? Yeah, a little extra sample there if you want. Hmm. Take one home to your sweetheart. Look, I got you cream to taste. All right, if there's no more questions, we'll make our way back upstairs to the ice cream vats. Ugh, the next walk up here again? I fall off again. This is gonna end in tears. No, no, Broken everything. Broken ankles for everyone. Okay. Here we are, here we are. Oh, all's well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Welcome, welcome. Next. Oh, there you are. All right, move in. Custard from the production room is cool, does it? As the pipes pass through the chilled cisterns here, you'll notice the pipe works come up out of the milk production area and across the factory floor, dropping down into the... Chilling stations here in front of us. After arriving somewhat chilled to these vats, the custard flows over spinning gears attached to the blades. As the blades are turned by the pouring custard, they in turn rotate other gears which have paddles attached to them that churn, mix, combine the custard, where it's gently frozen before passing to the next vat and, and the next one, and more and more each time, getting more and more frozen. We have different stations along the way where we can check the quality of the custard cream at any time throughout the process to ensure that it is becoming the treat that you are desperate to enjoy. We've already tasted our custard sample. Was there any questions on the frozen process where we freeze that custard into the nice, delicious consistency of iced cream? Wait, is it only powered by the custard dropping on it? Yeah, sure. It's very yeah, it's technical. Uh, yeah, and on the, the way up. The sheep, yeah. sheep looking as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I forgot about. Uh, if yeah, it can I see up here. Can it see you? Yes, yes, it can yeah, see it can you. Be. I think. Oh yeah, that that enhances everything. Yeah, I feel good. I feel handsome with the sheep looking at me. Sheep's watching things better. Pass that around. All right, right down this way. We're gonna make our way through <laughs> the additive station, just below you here. Oh, there you go. Yes, ma'am. That's the way I like it. Just take the quick way down. It's fine. Nice soft stone floor here. It's a soft stone. Don't have to worry. All right, is everyone with us? At Shook Milk, we take our additives and mix in seriously. Every iced cream begs to be taken to the next culinary level. The processes that we have walked through here today have brought us right here, where the ice cream is combined with the fruits and vegetables and flavor extracts that have been produced by Mr. Stark. Hello, Jim! All the way over there on the other side of the factory. All of those <clears throat> items end up here where they're all combined. Along with the base custard cream, they're brought here to undergo the mix-in process. Factory trained stirring technicians are given a paddle and plunge into the barrel and the tub here in front of you. And combine the ingredients until the flavor is just right. How right, you ask? Well, you can follow us across the factory if you'd like to go to the tasting section of our tour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Samples, Any questions? Samples. Are we here for? That's the best part. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any questions so far? Any questions on this mix-in station here or any of our lustrous products? All right. We'll head right this way. How does one become, an, like, an expert paddler? 
You know, it takes years and years of training and practice to get there. But it starts out vertically, you know, the, the vertical paddle. You don't wanna you don't wanna jump right in. To... Make our way to the samples. That's why everyone likes to come. Here we go. Okay, I got the uh, uh, stuff ready, so I can make oh, yeah. uh, some samples. Did someone bring you the rock salt? Someone here said they had rock salt. Uh, the gentleman there in the behind. Uh, uh, Angel, oh. the one that's got the birthday every Monday. That's oh, me. yes, that is Angel. Well, all right. Thank you, Angel. And this Today's specialty has been brought to you by Angel, and in response to him bringing us our very first batch of uh, rock salt, he's been allowed to pick and choose his favorite flavor. Amazing. Well, I, uh, yeah. the, 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 the sun sign in the darkest depths, that, that's what I'd like. Yeah, hey, sunshine make. and dark depth, those have now been added to our permanent flavor collection. They'll be removed from the sampling wall and replaced with other samples that someone can now try. If you'll mix up a batch of that ray of sunshine with the grog, the cinnamon, and the turmeric. Okay. And also, yes, and also mix up one of those darkest depths with the algae and the sea salt. Seaweed. Yeah, seaweed, yes. Mix up one of those, and we're gonna do a double scoop for Angel himself. Would we'll put one scoop on top of the other. Lovely. Ah, yes, the perfect mixing of flavor. Okay, uh, got one scoop here. Oh, sure. uh, ladies first, I guess. Uh, his date. Oh, you don't have to tell that. Do you sure birthday boy doesn't wanna go yeah, first? Oh, yeah, that's, or... that's okay. You you try oh, it first. Okay. Uh, and uh, there's a uh, double scoop there for you now, Angel. Oh, wonderful. All right. And then as far as everyone else, let me read off the flavors that we have available here today. And also, uh, ma'am and uh, sir, you're also welcome to another flavor as well. You're not limited just to the one that you chose just now. You can also try another one if something piques your interest as we uh, go down the flavors. Uh, uh, um, uh, we may have to put a disclaimer. Uh, I think you ate it too fast. You got toe freeze. What? Oh, oh no. Yeah, she's oh, gotten a toe I, freeze. I, I, I remember. I've been, I've been here before. I'm, I'm not falling for oh, yeah. it again. I, I, oh, I yeah. remember. No, no, it looks like it's starting. I can see it. No, Get no I'm good. I'm, I'm all right. I'm okay. All right, as a warning, as a warning to everyone else here, eat it slowly or you'll get the toe freeze. If you get the toe freeze, it's, it's all right. It's okay, though. It, uh, we, we know it helps sanitize the shoes. If you have, you know, a case of stench foot or some sort of creeping fungus or anything, or your shoes you have to amputate? What's that? Do we have to amputate his legs? It's so no, good. no, they're, they're, no, they're fine. I, I don't, it I just don't, make, it's, oh, it's, just, it's just too the, the flavor good. Try. Okay. Yeah, if you notice, we make our shoes extra tight here. That's to keep your toes from curling under. We don't, we don't want such things happening to you. Yeah, don't worry. Peg legs are in fashion anyway. Okay, I'm ready to make some flavors, uh, so you read off the uh, what we've got available. All right, here we go. While the cook's making up some fresh batches for everyone, I'll go ahead and read off the flavors we have available currently. We have Cannonball. It is a delectable combination of clam and double onion. We have Hoof Pint in the Snow. 
A spooning combination of ale and vanilla. We have a long evening. An eventful combination of bean and super hot chili oil. We have grandfather's delight. A combination of licorice and mint. We have grandmother's remedy, apple, and poppy. We have the snip snap, which is lobster, butter, and herb. And we double have butter. Of, uh, and another stick of butter. And we have the... We have Army of the Damned, which is an essence of boiled bone water. We have Error of My Waste, which is butter, sugar, vegetable oil, olive oil, lard, and butter. <laughs> Hoof um, pint sounds great. All right. We have, well, we have two more flavors, though. Like we have Dinner in Dessert, which is roast beast, broccoli, butter, and herbs and spices. And we have popped out corn. A delightful combination of corn and butter and salt. We also have the two new flavors, those two newest flavors that, that Angel himself has chosen here today. We have Ray of Funshine, which is grog, cinnamon, and turmeric, and Darkest Depth, which is algae and seaweed. Uh, and uh, we've got uh, the Barons, uh, the, the coffee-flavored. Oh, yes, we have a very specialized, uh, some of you missed our tour today. Right outside this door here, you can see... We have a coffee plant that grows high above all the other plants because the quality of Baron Maxwell's coffee is high above the quality of all the others out there. And here today, we welcome you to try his coffee-flavored ice cream as well. And that comes with or without a special brandy glaze on the top, if you would like one. So those are our flavors here today. Anything piqued your interest or any flavor sound like it's attractive? Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's all right. Oh. I'm sorry we didn't offer your flavor, sir. <laughs> we'll we'll try again right. next time. We'll do better. Uh, Rough customer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the timeout court. All right. Yeah, you time yourself up for just a moment, and then you come back and let us know what kind of flavor you're looking for. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the gentleman in front of me. Uh, uh, you, you ready for your flavor? Uh, which one would you like? Oh yes, yeah. Um, an army of the damned. Okay. Oh, uh, essence of boiled uh, bones water. Okay, it's ready. All right, who's next? Hey, you be careful eating that. Don't get the toe freeze now. No, don't eat it too fast. Uh, ma'am, uh, you ready to pick a flavor? Oh, yes, absolutely. Step forward. Um... Was it the snip snap or something? So, oh, yeah, that we oh, had the snip snap, snap. Lobster, butter, and herbs. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I haven't had a chance to try every single one myself yet. That's one of the two that I haven't tried the snip snap. Okay, it's ready. Thank you. All right. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Uh, Neil? I'll take the cannonball flavored one. Cannonball, a delectable combination of clam and double onion. Sounds wonderful. Mm, does it? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. You, you're gonna enjoy that. Okay, uh, Neil? Yeah, I'd, I'd like the, was it Ray of Funshine? Ray of Funshine. Ah, uh, there you go. Is that one you tried? Oh yes, that's a, that's our newest flavor made just today for Mr. Angel there himself. Grog, cinnamon, and turmeric. Uh, maybe I'll try another then. Uh, yeah, go right ahead. Oh. You're welcome to, to, to sample any of the flavors. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'll try the vanilla ale then. Okay, oh, sure. I give you vanilla ale and that one was hoof pint in the snow, a swooning combination of ale and vanilla. All right, sir, you over there, way at the end. Uh, I'll try the long knife, I think. Oh, well, right. I hesitate to say. A brave, a brave person, a long evening, an invincible combination of beans and super hot chili oil. And more beans, probably. And All right, sir. You in the corner over there. Now it's your turn. All right. Am I free from timeout? 
Yes, you can come out of timeout. Come right this way. We'll give you a treat, actually, for putting yourself in timeout. Give you a nice sample. We'll give you an extra sample. Which two would you like? Uh, can I have the hoof pint and... Uh-huh. Hoof pint in the snow. Uh, uh, I, was, I was so busy trying to remember the name of that one that... Oh, well, what flavor? Do you have any other flavors? Flavor number seven. Ooh, hold on, let me look. Ooh, that's a sneaky <laughs> snap. That's lobster and butter and herb. I think that one. Hot and cold. Okay, uh, is it ready for you? All right, there you go. Two good flavors for you. Well, we hope everyone has found a flavor that they like. If not, you're welcome to try again. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'd like another serving of the sure. ale, ale vanilla. I don't remember what it is. The ale vanilla. Hoof pint in the snow. A swooning combination of ale and vanilla. Finally That's together cool. at last. Yeah, the the hoof pint was it was great. <laughs> yeah, the long evening was a bit <laughs> rough. <clears throat> Are you okay over there? Your eyes look like they're watering. Was it the hot a chili oil? A little bit, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, you know, it is combined with the frozen ice cream. It's it's even hotter when it's all on its own and it's not cold in your mouth. Okay. It's a, it's a weird sensation. Yeah, it sneaks up on you. It comes in cold and then it heats up pretty quick. Okay, sir, your flavor is ready. Luckily, I had some meat on me to wash it down with. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, you know, we can give you a second flavor if you'd like something more more sweet, more more delicate for your palate to sort of wash away the hot chili oil. Yeah, no, I've, kind of, I've kind of forgot all the other flavors. So that's, uh, that's right. I'll manage. Just pick a number. <laughs> um, oh, it's a four. roll of that. Number four? Oh, which one was that? <laughs> Oh, that's Grandfather's Delight, a combination of licorice and mint. Yeah, that'll maybe the trick. Got very, got very close to ordering the same one again. That would have been a bad mistake. <laughs> that that would have been rough. Number three was one you ordered. You got very close to that. Just what he needed, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I have one uh, One of the the Baron. Was it the coffee? Coffee one? I think between the spicy ice cream and you punching me, Angel, I think I'm, I think I'm good for pain. You say that now. Sorry, what, what have I missed? Yeah, try uh, this. Work. I beep. Oh no, I did it again. Oh no. Oh, the feet. Oh, it's all right. Oh. It just sanitizes your shoes. Everyone who's had a bite here today. All right, I just, now... just did a tippy tap. Good. Hopefully it warms my feet up. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, the, there, that's... There's a special uh, uh, batch in there of the Baron's coffee uh, with espresso beans. Oh, yes. Thank you. you can have that wilder. Oh, yeah, you can add that. You can add that brandy glaze to the top if you want. And the cook's got some down at the other end of the station down there. He'll be glad to pour on top for you if you want to glaze. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right. It woke me up. Whee! Yeah, that, that cold foot filling will last for a while till you get back to your own standard <laughs> shoes. So uh, you don't no need to worry. Sanitize your shoes on the way home today. Uh, anyone need the brandy glaze? It's right here. I don't know, can I just drink the glaze? That seems a bit uncouth. Oh, now it has to be poured over the top. Yeah, no, I think, yeah. Drizzle, it's, it's, it's a brandy drizzle. Uh, did, Thank you, there. Did anybody want the uh, one that had the spider sprinkled eggs? It didn't come Yeah, it's the spider eggs, Neil. I'll pass on that one. Oh, Neil. 
if, if you're yeah, ever in need of five. more spider eggs, we can we can uh, we can help you out. We just hold on, I'll, I'll tell you the whole thing. That one's called the hatchery. That's a special that's a special one that we haven't released to the public yet. That's the hatchery. It's a boiled snake egg enrobed in frozen ice cream and topped with sprinkled spider eggs. You're welcome to try that if you like. Sounds oh. delicious. Right. Oh, wonderful. There's two scoops in there if anybody wants any. It doesn't at all burst through your stomach. No, no, that's a that's an unfertilized snake egg, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> sure. You're gambling, my Ivor. It's fine. He's wearing plate. Should yeah, be fine. It'll, it'll knock itself out on the way out. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions on your tour here today? Yeah. Any questions about our delicious flavors that you're enjoying right now? All right. How long does the process uh, take to make the ice cream? Oh, from start to finish, from the actual <laughs> production of the of the milk itself. You know, it takes a while for the Yeti to, to produce the milk. You would think that the Yeti would be fast at it, but it's not. It's really actually kind of slow in that process. So. It, the, the milk goes uh, straight into the frozen air or to the to the cooling area, so it doesn't reach room temperature. What's that? Is it possible to buy in bulk? To buy in bulk? No, it'll all melt by the time. No, we're not in the process Probably of selling. We're, we're still in a we're still in a phase where we're trying to poll the public to see which which flavors make it to the to the production phase. You know. Okay, you're just over testing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a, we're in the testing phase at the moment. The sampling and testing, you know, and finding out. But yes, sir, it takes a while. It, about one day from start to finish, I would say. You know, kind of a whole day. And then McCook here, he's he's got to throw in his part right here at the end to scoop the ice cream. and So that, that takes a few minutes. Got that one good arm, you know, that one sturdy arm where it's been scooping. Mm -hmm. Frozen and 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 the wrong end of the stick. A lot stronger than the other army. Um. The, uh, what happened to the uh, tasting canvases? By the way, did you guys? Uh... What? what? Tasting yeah. Oh, we 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 had covered that uh, before uh, you all arrived. Yeah, yeah, right. uh, would you like to uh, revisit that? Oh yes, we can go up and taste. Uh, uh, test the tasting campuses if you like. Those are, those are experimental flavors that you may or may not like. Yeah. Well, um, we can probably stop by some other time. We're, we're right next door, so it's not probably bother you often whenever Neil sure, gets back. Sure. Should oh, yeah, probably that's come fine. by later. We have some well, other well, people in the company well, that well. want to see this place. Yeah, 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 you miss the, miss the beginning of the tour as well, so you know, you get the full tour, the full feel. That's right. Any other questions, Hips Play? Oh. Do you want us to hand in our gloves and uh, boots somewhere? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, sure. You, you, you can, you can uh, turn them back into the box. Uh, yeah, they've been they've been sanitized for the next guest with the frozen toe. Just bring it right this way. We'll dump them right back in the box you got them out of. One I would them. like to lodge a complaint. There were no yetis. What? What? No, no, we don't. We don't the yetis come the at yetis night. We're, just, we're afraid yeah, they yeah. come in at night. Not, yeah, a single, not a single random <laughs> song and dance routine from yetis. Uh, how would that song go? Uh, what, what would the jingle be like? Like a Loopa I, Whoopa song or something? Loopa Whoopa. Doopy dee doo. Something like that, yeah. Like, uh, you, you can almost imagine them, you know, doing a little routine. Yeah, but this way. Loop, uh, yeah, loop. but someone, someone's gonna have to die, right? Yeah. Uh, I won't kneel. Dance. Actually, yeah, no. I think that's. I think we missed that part of the turn, Neil. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, they only come out if someone dies. Oh yeah. Again, I volunteer you, but I think I ate too much ice cream. I'm we going don't know to... how many people 
Make the you garden. feel sick? Oh no, you could be lactose intolerant. Have you had any testing done? See, the serpent oh. testing, I believe, for that lactose intolerance. They take you and they let a serpent test. I think oh, I just ate too yet. much ice cream too quickly. Oh, yeah, it could be. Mm, I think I did the same. Toe freeze moving around. Yeah, yeah, it's a this lot of brain help. freeze. I'll be fine though. Oh no, I've, I've already, uh, I've taken some medicine. Now this? Oh, 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 oh that, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we seem to have lost a danger noodle. Yeah, I don't know. Probably, probably eating more oh. brain food. Oh, that's Stella. As long as it didn't get into the spider eggs. Yeah. Miss Shook. Yes, if, yes. Uh, if you only have uh, some yetis, we could probably procure you some uh, oh. some yetis Ooh. if you need. That's a long way down. <laughs> Oops. Oh, actually, uh, you know the turtles? Do you? Where did you acquire them from? Uh, got them from the Freeport. Uh, you can use Ebola uh, on them, uh, and most times they're male ones that you can get the turtles. Uh, I I need a specific looking one and a female, so I'll have it's to... It's okay. okay. He needs to learn to read first. <laughs> I, I There was a contract that wasn't disclosed that it was a contract until after I did it. Ah. Uh. Uh, did anyone want to sign the guest book? I do. Uh, where's the guest book? Okay. That's, that's my other book. This book. Am I signing on the second page? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, please start on the second page. There you go, Bones. That she that she collapsed back. Thank you. Now, did you read that, Brandy? Yes, or did I you read. just sign something else? Okay, well, actually, I did just sign it. <laughs> oh wow, there's a really weird looking bear outside. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very um, colorful. Make sure you sign the book. Okay, I before I need before I actually take the book back, I need to read the first page just to make sure I'm not signing my life away again. Would I be able to take some plums on the way home? Have a little snack? Oh yes, I can get you some. Doesn't, do you know uh, there's the some fruit, uh, some oranges as well. Thank you so much. Bones, are you able to write? He's struggling. Suck it. You got this, Bones. I believe in you. You got this. Yeah, thank you so much. Right. Can I read the first page? I just need to make sure. I, no... I read the first page. You're all good. I said I need. I just need to practice. You know, I was reading the books. I was. I was meant to read them, but then I gave them to Danger to read, and I forgot about them. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's snowing. Shit. Uh, Did you read guys, it? Guys, you can head home. What do you mean? I. Um. You did it again. I have a new job. Anyway, I I read the, I read just below you. 
writing the same thing? It's an... You might want to read the book again. Okay, what? What does it say? I am, I'm now a floor sweeper. Wait, do we get paid for it? Uh, we, 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 we can't afford anybody. We can barely afford it lane over there. Oh, it doesn't mention anything about pay. Where did that book go? Uh-oh. Oh, look, look at that. I, I removed... I scribbled something out. <laughs> Listen, it was added after I signed it, so technically I didn't sign that. I, I agreed to that. <laughs> it's, it's not there anymore. What was the name of that one ice cream flavor that I had? It was the, it was the snap. Snap, snap. Snap, snap. Okay, snap, I'm just snap, gonna write a review off. as well in here, if that's okay. Oh, that's perfect. We're always looking for good reviews. Yeah, I'm going back to the ship. Thank you also, so much. can I give a can I give a tip to Elaine over? Ah, uh, sure. It's, it's not much, but uh, thank you for maybe. so much. And uh, do come back. Uh, we do give uh, uh, we update our flavors often, and uh, we update our tours regularly. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, nice meeting you. Very much for the tour. I don't know if I have any more strawberries. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, yes. Um, I forgot to take off oh. my. Uh, All right. Need to wa wash them. No, no, they're fine. They'll, they'll be sanitized by the by the frozen toe. It's sanitized all the shoes and the gloves going to go mm. a washing process by the hose monster. Make sure they're nice and clean for the next. Yes, week. very sanitary. Yes. Would you plan to devour the clothes out of the victim? Oh yes. Well, unfortunately, it's able to. It can digest human bone. It's able to digest clothes and all. I, I don't know. We haven't tested like. You know, armors, or I see you're wearing the plaid armor. We haven't tested to see if it will devour plaid armor or anything. You know, we don't do the... Go, we, go in we and try, Ivor. Never, never had a human. It's never... That one's never eaten a human flesh. Something superior. Uh, it had an entire shark one time. A whole shark. It slurped. The serpent's end oh. came out, and... Yeah, the, it's, the, you know, the... the the digestive agent, it works so fast that it just devours shark from one end to the other pretty quickly. Uh, did anyone want to sign the guest book? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Ah. Just in case. Hey, y'all have to come back at some time, too. You never know when the flavors are going to change in your favorite. Well, you know when your favorite made it into production, but you never know when you'll find another second favorite. You could. Uh, yeah, I think we were very close to getting a new employee. Uh, I think oh, I think uh, the gentleman that just left uh, uh, yeah. wanted to be a floor sweeper. Oh, floor sweeper! And, yes, and yes. when I told him he yeah. couldn't, he, he he couldn't get paid or taste the ice cream before the other customers. Uh, yeah, he well, decided customer. he decided to run away. Yeah, the visitor comes first before all of us here. Ma'am, are your toes cold? I forgot to ask you earlier. With that toe freeze and then the, the combination of the open toe, I don't know. It's the combination of both. It's a little bit cold. Oh, 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 sorry. I didn't think of that. Yeah. I, I it must have come from a from a far away warm location. I, 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 no, I should, I should have asked. I, I, I should have known you since you guys are up in the, up in. Don't the mention. I've, I, I've, I've never come here, so I wouldn't know. You want to write some words on the visitor book, Lexi? Sorry, write some... Uh, yes, write uh, 
I threw the journal down. Uh, I think that's the journal oh. there. Oh, and yeah, there you go. The visitor's book. You can you can put a little notice in there of whether you enjoyed or didn't enjoy your vac your your visitation here today. Uh, your your first date. Aw. That's a nice experience for a date. I think. I, I mean. I wouldn't want to go to a delicious place for a, for a nice date. Definitely no incidents today. And that's a that's a good thing. I don't know. No incidents since the last incident. Nope, not not one. You'd be surprised. Not one incident since that last one. And we don't ever talk about the last one, no. No, no. I mean, if we have reasons for everything we do here at this factory, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're working on that uh, uh, you ain't lying uh, uh, recipe. Uh, I think right now we got two lions down there in our that little trap. Yeah, you have to come back for that one. That's a, that's a very specialized recipe. We'll get to that eventually. We're not quite there yet. We're still in the production process of that one and the refining of the flavor. Yeah, they keep coming back. So uh, it's one of the flavors they like. You know, that's the cream. Well, we produce the cream here and the iced cream, and, you know, the cats like the cream. And so the next thing you know, we're surrounded by lions out here. It's the, I think they keep coming over from the mainland. Do you have lions on the mainland? We that... do have lions. Oh, oh, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, one, one yeah. just ate our giraffe. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, well, no. that's where they're coming from. They, they creep out here because of the smell of the delicious cream that surrounds this factory. They make their way out here thinking they're going to get lucky and have a nice bowl of cream to lap. Yeah. Yeah, like four of them attacked me and my horse and I passed out and my horse was dead. Oh no. Yeah, they're a real problem. Oh, yes. Never ending problem. It seems like when we have a philosophy that when one dies, it screams out its last gasp of air. He's calling for another lion to show up. I get a sword, Neil. Or, oh, a car or a pistol, something. You mean like this? Oh, there uh, you go. Oh, double barrel. Maybe. Oh, my. Oh, yes, the, the, the sky doesn't bite you, though. No. Oh. Still a lion? Or like this. Aha, there you go. You can wedge that between the teeth as it's bearing down on you. You just slide that in between the mouth parts. Yeah. I think they think of him as one of their own. With that whole golden mane going on. Oh, ooh, uh, you know, it could be. Do you have prowess? Do you, are you able to, to slink around and keep quiet in Would the dark and things like that? Put the gun down, Neil. You're drunk again. Oh. Thank you. Don't don't ruin our record. No incident since the last incident. And we definitely no, don't want no, any don't. incidents. No, we have don't, to start fresh forget. with incidents. Don't forget that the incidents get better if the goat is watching. So you know, at oh, least yes. we do it in front of him. Yeah, he's up there. He's way up there right now. You don't wanna you don't wanna do anything down here. I'll behave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, did anybody need any flavors to take home with them today? Uh, sure. I can... I, I, I'd, I'd love a coffee coffee flavor. We have a lot of we have a lot of right here with different types of flavors in there. If you want to help yourself, there there's, should be some coffee in there for you. If you like, take some with you. That's Baron Maxwell's secret recipe. Uh, he sponsored us, uh, so uh... yes, he did. We mentioned his name. <laughs> His coffee is uh, uh, above all others. Yeah. Yes, yeah, just, just as the coffee plant is up there above all the others, so is his his coffee is above all the others. Yep. And his ego. <clears throat> what? Here's the oh. guest book. Brooke, my my cook, will will yes. we're gonna hang out. Thank you for the tour. Well, you thank know, you very thank much. You it's being... lovely. It was wonderful yeah. to meet you, and nice to see you again. And you have to come back, try your flavor again. See if you find another second flavor you like as well. Um, I'll be sure to come back. 
Uh, uh, Roxalt, uh, yes. Uh, uh, the queen sent a letter saying that uh, the hint was the Roxalt is in B2. Okay. Well, you know, we, we, it's very special, a re specialized recipe. It has on there um, rock salt only, and it's underlined. We don't know why. You can't use just any old salt. It's a very special recipe. And see, see, that could be a second date there. Uh, uh, explore the islands and, and uh, yeah, and uh, find the rock salt. I'm pretty sure oh, a date, Dale? Uh, Ted is going to bring you more rock salt. He was planning oh, to. Right. Oh, okay, then no second well, date then. I see. I see how it is. Uh, no, ma'am, it's, it's over for you. You can head home now. There's yep. no need at all. Well, I mean, I, I'm his right, so I else. guess he's staying with you. Oh, Rip, you stepped into that one. <laughs> we'll, we'll find something to do. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, After all, Sarah, go yes, to the cabin or something. There's probably something better than harvesting salt out there that, that could be done on a second date. You never know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can think of few things. Right. Well, thank you very much. Hey, okay, thank you. Welcome. Welcome to you all. Thank you. Thank you for oh, helping us refine our product. Thanks for the door. Oh, you're very welcome. Hey. You're going to come back later. Right, goodbye Good to long. you. Come back when you can. Are those eyes? Or something else? Oh, it's eyes. <laughs> it's looking for the ice cream. That's a nice pair, isn't it? This is a set of eyes watching you, making sure you're doing <laughs> oh. what's right. A I lovely pair, pair of ice. Else. <laughs> a lovely pair of ice. <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget Rufus. No, no, no. I thought he was there. He was oh. hoping I'd forget him. Is that your bear? Oh my <laughs> god, that's glorious. Look at the colours. Oh, that is a beautiful bear. What is this bear's name? It's, it's Herdy. Herdy. Uh, oh, and he's hello, made, he's, he's, made, he's got a twin. His name's Gertie. Oh, Hardy and Gertie. That's a nice pair, you know. And they're, uh, yeah, and they're exactly the same. So they were happy. born together. Oh, oh, wonderful. Look at that, though. I mean, how marvelous. I, I have no idea what happened to the mother that made made it born like this, but it just... Well, I mean... Well, the, the mother was a normal brown bear. Well, that's uh, unusual, then. Well, mutations happen. I've got, I've got a green bunny, so it's... A, well, <gasps> a green striped bunny, but... Yeah, but something. I don't it's know. just just meant to be. Look at that yeah. special bear. Looks like you have a bear. Everyone will know that bear when they see it, you know. It's pretty. We'll it's keep festive. seeing it for about an hour That's after they close their eyes for a new oh. favor. <laughs> hey, I see you. Yeah, you can have a bear berry flavored one. Oh, well, hey, Barry. you leave Barry alone, Neil. You leave Barry alone. <laughs> Barry's a beautiful bear. He's not a flavor. Not a flavor. Oh, she's a flavor, all right. But uh, <laughs> we'll, um, we'll, uh, if you guys, rock salt, we'll keep an eye out for rock salt. Oh, sure, sure. That, you know what I'm And uh, we just you know. got a batch of spiders, so if you need oh. eggs, let us know. Ooh. All right, yes, we'll let you know. Thank you very and, much. Uh, and yetis, we can we can get a yetis if you need some more. Oh, oh. oh, and our hours are on our sign up there if you want to come back at any time for free samples. Try all you like. Oh, we'd love to. The ice cream was great. Yeah, we should probably come by when. Uh, on our this sign on your date. left over here, the one on the wall. This one right here tells you what what times we'll be in. There you go. Yeah, I'll. Report back on whether the long evening hurts more on the way in or on the way out. Oh, oh. all right, yes. It's good to know. You know, we have to add these things to our ledger. Oh, well, that'd be good to know. Thank if you very you much. Found any, uh, if you find any uh, tilted cows, we'll bring them by as well. Ooh, oh, the tilted ones. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. No problem. Well, thank Pretty you very much. Tilted. Yeah, and you know, Neil's all business, but if you want us to buy for a drink or anything, we're right over on the shore, so... Oh, sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Need a break. Well, we've been meaning to get over there, but you see, we've been busy. The hands at work, you know, and then now we're Yeah, free. we have been looking yeah, at this more. castle every day. So when we're, uh, uh, driving past yes. it. Turned out, turned out really like something. Oh, well, thank you. Well, now you know what we were up to. So there's a lot in, lot went into it. But yes, we can now make our way over to your port and see what all you've been up to. And 
see your beautiful buildings that we saw at the beginning, but we haven't seen them since. Well, we would see the giraffe, but I think a lion took it. Yeah, he got it. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's just, maybe it's wandering somewhere. Maybe the, maybe the giraffe is wandering and it's fine. It'll show up. It's, it's, it's at the farm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. it's a beautiful we farm sent, way yeah, over there. Send it to the farm. Where all your failed bread bears go. Uh, to oh, the farm. Thank, thank you very much. We'll, oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, cheers. Try Be safe home. on your way back to your home on the other shore. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, uh, thanks for the... Hey! Oh, you're very welcome. Yes. Sanitizing your shoes on the way home. Be good for you. Yeah. We'll get the nice swim, so hopefully oh, that'll yeah. help a lot. Oh, it will as well, yes. All right. Yep, yeah, cheers. Have a good evening. Cheers to you. Ciao. Good evening. Safe seas to you as well. Oops. For some reason. I think that was a pretty good tour. You you ready oh, yeah. to close up for the night? For the night, yeah, we can. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Are we sure that all the doors are closed up at the top? Do we need to go up there? Yeah, I figure we might need to do a double check. I want to lock these gates back as well. I think the little latch here is slid open. Oops, I need to close, close the windows. Good night, Tim. You're doing a great job. Yeah, good night, Tim. Everyone loved your work today. They told us down at the foot of the hill, Tim's the, Tim's the prize of your industry. Thank you very much. We'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah. We'll get to stomping. We'll, we'll collect it in the morning. Good night, turtles. Good night, everyone, including Tim. Good night, all. Be back again out of tomorrow. Oh, I should have asked him about that box. Uh.
Well, thanks everyone for joining me today. As we're going to quit a little early so we can grab dinner and rest a little bit. But thanks everyone. And let's see. Uh, let's throw it over to Rep. I'm not sure how long he's going to be on. But uh, if you're interested in Sell the Seas RP, I'm leaving the discord uh read the rules read the rules read the rules and go from there